Hey everybody, how are you today? This is Stephanie with Oasis Palisades and also your intentional happiness enthusiast. Woo -woo! How are you today? How are you today? What have you done today for your soul? What have you done today for your mind? What have you done today for your body? And what have you done today for yourself? What have you done today for you? <laughs> you're awesome. You're amazing. It's so important to take care of you. Yes, yes, hallelujah, amen. Woo -hoo! <laughs> So today is day 16 and 85 days till the end of the year. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. Um, today's acupressure point, self acupressure point, is gallbladder 12. I'm sorry, it's gallbladder 13. Look at, I have a typo here. I'm gonna have to do um, after this. It's actually gallbladder 13. And believe it or not, this is a totally new point for me, but I'm very excited about it. I was just sharing it with my daughter. It, the point, here's your eyebrows, and here's the end of your eyebrows, and you measure from there up to here. Gallbladder 13. Wow. I had no idea about this point, actually. Um, gallbladder 13 is yet another helpful pressure point for anxiety and nervousness relief. It's called the mind root, and its location is one palm width inside the hairline from the edge of the eyebrow. This point can be stimulated on both sides of the head by pressing the points using the fingers <laughs> for one minute. It helps to calm the mind and relieve anxiety. It's a local point for headaches, that it's also neck pain, stiffness, dizziness, and epilepsy impotence, depression, worry, and obsessive thoughts, lack of willpower, premature ejaculation, impotence, and irrational jealousy. Measure from your end of your eyebrow up here, and this is gallbladder 13. Gallbladder 13. This is a new point for me. And it's actually pretty tender on me. <sighs> you can press it and hold it for a minute if you're feeling anxious. And if you have all of these other um, symptoms that I put here, lack of willpower, worry, obsessive thoughts, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so how are you today? What have you done today? What have I done today? I have done a lot today. Um, one of those things being uh, listening to frequency music. I posted this morning on my timeline a explanation of frequency music um, and also put some frequency music that I've used on my timeline, I totally invite you to go and um, check it out. It's music that you can have playing in the background at all times or in the morning. You know, I, uh, we all know this, but I learned this yesterday that before we go to bed and when we wake up, those are really, vulnerable special times and we don't want to fill those times with crazy stuff going on. We want to have stuff that relaxes us, calms us, feeds our mind, um, 
positive stuff. So um, the frequency music is something that you can go to bed listening to. And if you get up in the middle of the night, you can listen to it. Or if you uh, wake up early and you want to just lay there and meditate, you can listen to the music then as well. So frequency music, there's 5.82 hertz, 7. Um, point eight two. I don't know. There's different. I put it explanation of all different frequency musics. But you know, when my mentor Steve Jennings was in the hospital and in a coma, I wasn't sure what to do. And intuitively, um, I went to my um, my phone and I put on that music and I wanted to like hum and do some vibrational sounds and stuff like that. So it's just something that I think is in tune with nature and grounding and healing. So the frequency music grounds us. <sighs> so does breathing, so does taking a moment, so does lab therapy, so does Acutherapy, holding these acupressure points for calming and relaxation. These are all amazing tools that we can use daily, moment by moment, as needed. Um, today is day 16, 85 days. So 16 days we have been learning acupressure points and doing tapping on affirmations for fear and for different things. Today is productivity, but we have been tapping on sales, confidence, abundance, procrastination, goals, focus, miracles, and productivity. So we're at the end today. We've already repeated twice all of those. So today is productivity. Um, my mentors are Casey Everhart, Greg Reed, and Steve Jennings, um, people like John Loger and um, Bill Walsh, um, you know, lots of people who inspire me and I am following. But um, what have you done today? What have you done today for your soul? What have you done today for your mind? What have you done today for your body? And what have you done today for your business? What have you done today for you? A year ago, I did a meme and I wrote, um, I have a mastermind, soul, mind, body, business um, mastermind. And so I um, wrote this a year ago and I love it. And um, I wrote it down here. It says, feed your soul, grow your mind, and your body will benefit. And your business will flourish. So when you feed your soul with meditation and gratitude and breathing and letting go and trusting, when you feed your soul, then you grow your mind with learning and um, all your goals and dreams, visualizing. Um, really, gosh, even I am unclear. I need to get better at really knowing what I want. What do we want? It says 90 days. It takes 21 days to develop a habit, 90 days to create a lifestyle. We're already at 85 days, so we've passed the 90 days, so we really gotta get moving. So we have 90 days to create a lifestyle. At the end of the year, where do you wanna be at? Where do you wanna be in your business? Where do you want to be in your health? Do you wanna, are you making wise choices? Do you want more money? Do you want a, uh, what do you want? What do you want? What do you see for yourself? It's so important to really know what you want. <laughs> I had a um, conversation with Scott Duffy and um, told him about my business and stuff like that. And then he says, no, first thing you have to know is how much money do you want to make? And then you start from there. So 
<laughs> it's an interesting thing to think about, you know, how much money do you want to make? And how do you do that? <laughs> how do you do that? So we are tapping on all of these things because these are all things that I need to work on. I am a work in progress as is all of us, you know, nobody's perfect. We all have fears. Um, so I definitely have fears. I definitely procrastinate. I definitely, um, confidence, you know, I'm getting pretty good at because I've been tapping for over a year with Revel on confidence. So I feel confident, thank God. Um, goals, focus, miracles, productivity. So these are all things that I am working on. Uh, we are all a work in progress, right? So let's tap our two rounds on fear things that hold us back, and then one round on productivity. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My fear-based thoughts are now gone for good. My fear-based thoughts are now gone for good. Really breathe that in. It's okay to talk about things that scare me. It's okay to talk about things that scare me. I am free of the fear of people. <sighs> I am free of the fear of people. I am free of the fear of failure. I am free of the fear of failure. Every day I decrease my fears. Every day I decrease my fears. I am now conquering my fears one at a time. I am now conquering my fears one at a time. I now choose love and peace instead of fear. I now choose love and peace instead of fear. I deserve to be free from failure. I deserve to be free from failure. Second round, eyebrow point. I am fearless. Breathe it in. I am freaking fearless. I happily relinquish all fear based thoughts. I frequently relinquish. I happily relinquish. Happily. I happily relinquish all fear based thoughts. Fear takes a backseat to the peace I enjoy. Fear takes a backseat to the peace I enjoy. I am free from all forms of fear. I am free. I am free from all forms of fear. I am fearless today and always with an easy breath 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 fear thoughts with an easy breath i blow away my fear thoughts things that look frightening are truly only a illusion things that look frightening are truly only a illusion and last today I give myself permission <sighs> today I give myself permission to be greater than my fears today I give myself permission to be greater than my fears and <sighs> so it is <sighs> All right, tapping affirmations is rewiring the brain. Our mind doesn't know if what we're saying is real or not, so we're telling our mind these things, and in time, they do happen. We have these subconscious beliefs that 
want to hold us back for some reason. It's a whole long explanation about how the subconscious wants to protect us and keep us small and um, safe. And um, we have to want to change and really take action. Take action. Take action. Our personality creates our personal reality. Our personality creates our personal reality. We are what we think, we are what we act, and we are what we feel. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> So our acupressure point for today is gallbladder 13. It calms the mind. You can hold and rub the point for a minute and really just relax and chillax. This is a great, great, great point. That's actually a new point for me. So let's do our last round of tapping for productivity. Productivity, here we go. I am becoming more and more productive. I am becoming more and more productive. I will become a naturally productive person. I will, I will become a naturally productive person. I am finding myself more and more productive every day. I am finding myself more and more productive every day. I will always complete every project I start. I will always complete every project I start. I will persist and work hard even when a project is tough and boring. I will persist and work hard even when a project is tough and boring. Productivity comes natural to me. Productivity comes natural to me. Being productive comes completely natural to me at all times. Being productive comes completely natural to me at all times. People see me as someone who is naturally productive and successful. People see me as someone who is naturally productive and successful. People look up to me as a productive and efficient person. People look up to me as a productive and efficient person. And last, breathe it in. Being focused, efficient, and productive is an important part of my life. Being focused, efficient, and productive is an important part of my life. So these are great, great affirmations to be working on as we count down till the end of the year. We have 85 days till the end of the year. They say it takes 90 days to create a lifestyle. So we need to get started. We really need to break through all those subconscious beliefs, the stinking thinking, even myself with all the work I do on myself. I still have thoughts that I am not worthy that I am not smart enough, that I am, I don't know what I'm doing, that I, um, I don't want to be like that person. You know, we are all in sales and we all are in marketing. We're all selling something, right? We're all networking, bleh, we're all networking for the most part, you know, but I don't want to be that pushy salesperson and so um that's something that is my stinking thinking that i'm working on um yeah this is lab therapy this is a place where you can come and just breathe 
and let it go. Do your active pressure points. We've learned so many points already, 16 acupressure points that you can use every day for your health, for your mind, for your body, and ultimately it affects your business. Um, feed your soul, grow your mind, your body will benefit, and your business will flourish. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. I am the queen of procrastination. I am. So this is good for me. So thank you for joining me. Let's take action. Let's get out of the funk and really create success. Let's visualize. Let's know where we're at. Knowing your numbers is so important. Let's know where we're at. And let's know where we want to go. Let's know where we want to go. <laughs> let's know. Hey, who is that? I don't know, but thank you for the love. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yes, we are on a journey. We're all a work in progress. It takes 21 days to develop a habit and 90 days to create a lifestyle. Who are we? Who do we want to be? What do we love? What makes us happy? What are we passionate about? We all, to be successful or most successful people have multiple streams of income. So what are the things that you do? Who are you? <laughs> you know, it's not about, it's about um, just being you. <laughs> it's about being authentic. It's about being real. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, Today is day 16. We've already learned 16 acupressure points. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and helping me create this, um, this daily thing that I'm doing here that will, um, I am going to turn this into a book. So all of these, I'm keeping a notebook of all of the days and the points. So I'm keeping a whole track of all of this and I'm going to make it into a book. Why not? Because I've, I'm putting in time to do this. So I might as well do something productive and amazing with it. And so I thank you all for being on this journey. If you had any questions at all if you want to know about acupressure for anything specific i can let you know i can find out um if you want to know anything about tapping uh, let me know and um i can find out if i don't know it so thank you and um go and tell somebody that you love that you're thinking of them because life is short and it's going so quickly and you never know how just one hello from somebody that you haven't heard from in a while can change your day make a smile on your face because sometimes you never know what people are going through and they just need a little bit of love and love is free I love you guys, and I am so grateful I am doing this for you all, but I'm also doing it for myself. So peace out. Go and have an awesome and amazing day. And do something. Do something for your soul. Do something for your mind. Do something for your body. And do something for your business and do something for somebody else. Do something for somebody else. A total stranger makes you feel so good. That's the one thing I look forward to every day is when I can do something for a total stranger. 
Ah, I love you.